Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I am your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this weekend's NFL action. Week six, baby. Week six. It's flying It's crazy. By. It's so fast. It's, it's so by. fast. I remember week one when we were doing this. Week six. I'm a uh, very, very respectable eight and four. Agreed. And this guy is something. What are you? I'm you were seven? You were three and six before this? No. F- what were you? I don't know if it's 12. No, it can't be 12 picks. You dope. I'm eight and four, no? Well, there's been five weeks, so that's 15 picks. Am I doing the math wrong? Am I doing the math wrong? I did think 17 <laughs> times 5 today was 82 and not 85, so I could be doing it wrong. Hold on a second here. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's been 15 picks because it's week six. We do three picks a week for five weeks. Three times five is 15. I know my... I know well, my... last s- week I was eight and four. So that means you're <laughs> ten and five. Well, yeah, I, and I was four and eight, which means I'm six and nine. Oh, okay. This is all where right. it all turns. All right. This is where so it all I'm a respectable I was six and nine, ten and five. Look that, at me. That's that's more than respectable. It's very very good. I am a sharp, so don't be surprised. Let's get right into it. Actually, I'm not feeling good about this week, though. I hate the board this week. The board I want that to be we known. Did say that. The board I want everyone to know I, I don't like the board this week. We were struggling sitting here. So, yeah, this is a tough one. But I'm going to start us off. First pick, week six. Vikings at the Carolina Panthers. What side are you taking? What side? Plus two and a half. We're going with the Panthers as the home dog, baby. It's the home dog. Or, 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 you know, the home cat. The home pussy cat. Or uh, 69. Well, now you're just you're just getting sexual. For well, I'm reason. six and nine. You said pussy cat. So a, a lot of relevant. things add up. It's a, a lot of things add Here's up. Here's what I'm looking at, though. It's a home dog. I love taking a home dog. The Vikings. I think the only reason the Vikings are favorites in this game because Dalvin Cook is going to play, and I don't think that's going to be a huge factor because I do like the Carolina. I do like Carolina's run defense, even though you know Zeke kind of ran all over him last week or whatever week that was. I don't remember anymore. All these weeks are blurring together. I'm just winning. I'm just winning. It's crazy, but. uh I'm thinking like this, in a 1v1, if one Viking in real life took on one Panther, that would be a very close game, but I think, I think I'd give the edge to the Panther. I don't in know, a those, 1v1. Those, those Vikings were pretty tough back in the day. They were, and they had axes and shit, but like, if you drop the axe, you're basically done. You don't really yeah, have but a why chance. would the Viking drop the axe? Well, not on purpose. You no get sense. mauled if the Panther bites your okay, arm. Okay, but if the Panther comes at you with an axe, you just slice the Thing's head off. You better hope what? that you slice his head off. You literally you miss, slice the head off. If you miss, first of all, bro, I don't think you'd be able to pick up an axe. So uh, whoever said saying, I was a Viking, you're not. I'm, I'm a ginger from North you're Jersey. You're not, I'm not a, Viking. a Viking. Well, I'm saying what the thing you? would be. Here's what I'm saying. I think it would be a very close fight. Okay, so you want to give the edge to the Viking? That's fine. We still have two and a half. I didn't say that. We still have two and a half. I'm just saying I could see the understanding of why Vegas would make it two and a half because the Viking has the axe. That's all I'm saying. Is it that crazy to say? It's not crazy, but I'm going to take the, the, the Panthers plus two and a half. You ever hear Just for Men, by the way? I think it takes out the gray in your hair. Dude, you're I'm not, not worried about grays. You're not that old. You're I have hair. Old. That's all I All care right, about. all right. You want to talk about, like, kitty cattens and pussies and stuff? Well, yes. there's a game with two of them. There's a Bengal, and there's a lion. Oh, I like that. Yeah, a lot of puss. See? Look at that. Look, at, look how we segue. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Stall the whole show. Oh, I think that should be kept in there. Anyway, uh, so the, the Lions are playing the Bengals, and the Lions have a coach who literally cries at a, at a podium after a game, which they should have won. Um, he wants to bite people's kneecaps off. They're playing at home against Joe Burrow and the Bengals, who come off a devastating loss against the Packers. And that's a game to me, a team like the Bengals, we know was a Fugazi 3-1. and one. You know, they're, they're not there yet. But they're on the cusp, and beating a Green Bay team would have been huge. Losing to a Green Bay team like they did is demoralizing. How do you prepare for a 
any team going on the road like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Lions plus three and a half at home in the Dome. The Lions are due for a win. I think Dan Campbell told his players that you should probably shoot yourselves if you don't win this game, let alone cover the three and a half points. The Lions seem to have a knack for covering all the spreads. And at three and a half with the hook at home, I am taking the Lions king of the jungle that would absolutely devour a Bengal if seen in the wild. So, Lions, three and a half. Be a good fight. Be a good fight. I disagree. The Here's the thing, though. Um, the Lion this, would kill any animal like in the world. I like this pick kind of for both of our first picks because I took uh, the Panthers and the Vikings uh, barely beat the Lions last week. Right. So, this right. is like a See, good indicator. If so, back so. Yeah. Indicators. This is yeah. what you want. You want to get indicators. Yeah, for we're, we're all about trends and indicators. Also, there's... Um, Professional gambling show here. Before I get to the second pick, there is no... Uh, big dog pick of the week, obviously, because we dominated last week. Literally the, dominated. Uh, the hammer, the Henry, uh, the the, ha- the, hem- the Henry, uh, Derek, the, the Henry, 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 Henry hammer, Henry, Henry hammer, hammer, ooh, Henry, Henry, ooh. whatever we called it. It was the triple H. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I don't, didn't I don't really know what I had for breakfast. So let alone last week. Pick two coming at you. I got a good one here. Be, get, listen, it's the Monday night game. So is it the Monday night game? Sunday night game. Which Bills one? the Titans. Monday night. The Monday night game, Bills and Titans, minus five and a half taking the Bills. It's simple. Oh, uh, listen, I respect Derrick Henry, and I love Derrick Henry. I'm not betting against Derrick Henry here. I want you to know that. I'm betting against the Titans. All right, I'm betting against the Titans, not Derrick Henry. You're betting against 52 other guys outside of Derrick Henry. Yeah, Derrick Henry can't do it all, and that's my point. Julio could be back, and I think that's why this line's a little closer. Maybe, I don't know. But here's the, here's the deal. The Bills are bullies, man. They're just bullies. They're going out there. They're bullying every team. What did they just do to KC? They're just, in they, KC. Just, they just beat up Kansas City. They beat up the Chiefs. And I know the Chiefs are frauds. I always knew this as a Broncos fan, obviously. But here's the deal. I'm going to clip that The one. Bills are not frauds. Minus five and a half is a, is a respectable line, I think, for this game. And uh, I think they're going to cover by at least eight. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they blow them out. Interesting. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. No, I can see it. I can see it. So, Bills minus five and a half. Yeah, it's risky. Yeah, I don't like the board this week. Yeah, I'm not feeling great about these picks, but I got one thing to tell you. It's simple. It's, ah, oh, there it is. It's a few weeks out. I love it. I love it. It just absolutely contradicts. I love a home dog. And then you take an away favorite. Anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> That's gambling, baby. <laughs> All right, so this next pick I I uh, deliberated on. I think that means think think about. Deliberated. I haven't gradu- I graduated college like oh, close to what? Was it like eight years ago, six, seven years ago? I don't even know. <laughs> the Bears versus the Packers. I don't think we can have a Bear versus a Packer because I don't even know what a Packer is. It was a, it's a block, block of cheese. Of cheese. Yeah, yeah, a Bear yeah, with smoke. Block, so block of cheese. So a Bear with smoke. Now, Justin Fields has not looked particularly great. Uh, they went. Although and, the Bear could eat the cheese, be lactose intolerant, and sh himself all over the field. Or just die. Yeah, wait, what are you picking? Or just die. I'm taking the Bears oh, plus never mind. six. Mine doesn't work. I am taking the Bears plus six because I think the Bear eats the cheese and he's not lactose intolerant. Yeah. I think Justin Fields actually finally shows up and has a game. The Packers' defense is not good at all. I know the Bears are down two running. They're two, uh, what, RB1 and RB2, and they're playing a, a rookie. Running back. Don't who, sleep who on look, Khalil no, Herbert, though. See, I was not going to say that. He looks very good. Khalil Herbert does. And Allen Robinson's off the injury report now, so I think Fields can finally open it up a little bit. I think Nagy, after a few weeks of, of practice with Fields, they're going to open it up a little bit. It's six points. They're at home, and they're no pushover. They're not. like They, it, they have not been good, but they have not been great, obviously. They're, like, right in the middle. But, again, the Packers, they don't cover it. They should have lost to the Bengals. They should have lost to... Shouldn't have lost to the Lions, but they didn't cover against the Lions, or even if they did, it was not. It was very, very close, and the Lions are 20 times worse than the Bears. I'm going to take the Bears at home in a divisional game, plus six. When I get divisional points like that at home, I'm going to take it. Bears, plus six. Lock it now. No, I didn't, though. No, but like, mine was way better than yours. Just it's just called being an you athlete. You just got fat fingers. No, I'm an athlete. It's called fingers. precision and right, athleticism. All right, all right. If, if I get this, we'll both go. I'm, I'm right. If I get this, we'll both go. I'm a righty doing my left hand though. And I was way higher than you, but whatever. I like it upping the, the scale. Not looking. Just drop it already. You're off. You're just terrible. Not an athlete. I don't know how that's not an athlete. I couldn't even look. 
I mean, I'm just the best there ever was. Yeah, it's pretty you good. Just made Can't a game lie. out of it. That also could be a bad omen, though. Could be a bad it's not, omen. It's not. Just call him a freak athlete. I'm really good at stuff. You know what else I'm really good at? Freak athlete. I watch your uh, BDG combine. Picking Terrible. underdog pickums. Let's head to the guys in the studio for the underdog play of the day. Thanks, Snacks and Animal. All right, let's get to the underdog play of the day. You can um, access this on the Underdog Fantasy app or underdogfantasy.com. Maybe. Something like that. Something like that. All right, my pick is in the pick em. It's Latavius Murray under 43 and a half rushing yards. I'm taking this because I don't think he's that good. I agree. He's old as dirt. Very good pick. I'm going to take Keenan Allen over 72 and a half yards. Mike Williams seems to be the talk of the town. Rightfully so. Very good. Keenan Allen's been forgotten about. Keenan Allen finally comes out this week. Over 72 and a half. Keenan Allen in a shootout. Baltimore Chargers. That's a great pick. If you take both of these picks and combine them, you'll get a plus uh, times a, a 3x multiplier. And you'll win three times your money. So, uh, underdogfantasy.com. Promo code BDG. Sign up now. Thank you. All right, uh, fellas, thanks. That was wonderful. And uh, last They're week, pretty good. last week we hit, so we had to do it again. We'll see. Maybe if we, uh, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll let you guys know. If we don't hit this one, maybe we'll switch it up. So I do want to get some big dog picks in. I do. I just don't want to chase you guys down. So if you send them in, send in a big dog pick. I will. I, I'll I will give it. us. I'll give us one thing though. Last week we said if we don't hit, you guys are sending them in. We were clutch and we hit. Yeah, with well, ease. What with ease. Oh, you hear that sound? No. That's what sharps do, though. They just, you know, capitalize. Yeah, capitalize. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. Oh, I get it's it. It's in there. Is, it's, that, is that the mouse? It's or actually is that the a mouse. Center? Yeah, there's a mouse in my ceiling. It's just, I hear it at night. Oh, so. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, there it is. I got it. I got it. Time for the big luck. You know, I, I did say we were going to get a new one. We didn't, obviously. But. It's still here. It's still good. Looking good. I don't remember if my big lock hit last week. What was my big lock? I no, I did. I think it did. Ike Mine will, did. Ike will let Mine you know. Did. Ike always does. He's really good at his job. Yeah, so um, here Sexy we go. Too. Sexy, too. Big lock time. My big locks have been very good this year, other than the, the, the lines that one Ike. week. I haven't seen him in a while. Other than the lines that one week. Listen, I'm picking. Sorry. Here's the deal. <laughs> we got the Cowboys. They're heading to New England. Such a bad pick. They're heading to New England. Everyone's going to say, this is a publicly pick. Like, this is the public's going to pick the Cowboys. Well, you know what? The public's going to get it right this week. It's the Cowboys minus three. They're going to blow out the Patriots because here's the thing. It's not going to be the Patriots uh, offense that lets them down. Uh, no, it's not going to be the Patriots defense that lets them down. It's going to be the Patriots offense that lets them down. Mac Jones, two interceptions. One of them going to Trayvon Diggs, keeping his streak alive. He couldn't even guard a, a rookie wide receiver last week. Keeping his streak alive. And the Cowboys, you know, Dak is back. Dak looks great. I'm all back on the Dak train. He does look uh, great. You great know what you need to do? Great you know leader. what you do? You get, you get your six shooter, and you load him up. You load him up. Do it. If I shoot you, will you fall? No. Can you just act a little bit? That's what's going to happen to the Patriots. Cowboys are going to go in there. Six shooters loaded. Win this game by at least six points. But the, the, the line is minus three. But they're going to win by six. Cowboys over the Patriots. Minus three. Big luck. You can parlay all these picks for like plus 500 something. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't hate it. The Cowboys are really, really good. and uh, They're underrated? They're not underrated at all. They, underrated. They, even when they're one and seven, that's the only team that gets talked about. They're they're like not under. That, that's just see that that's what makes me f-ing so sick about this team. They're not underrated. They everything they do, no matter what, they're always talked about. So there's no rated hey, listen, involved. Listen, there's I no have, rated involved. I have a burger Every, on the way. Can you make Colin your pick? Ka- Colin Coward, period. number two team in the world. Stephen A. Number two. Everybody takes them as a, they are a very good team. Okay, they're not underrated. They're not overrated. They're just very good. And if I'm saying that, that means something. Anyway, I'm taking the Browns minus three as my big lock. Kevin Stefanski is six and zero against the spread, off a loss with the Browns as head coach. Which Ooh, was, analytics? That was analytics here. Which no, you know that means it's disaster. Yeah, it's a disaster. The Cardinals average 
Uh, Cardinals let up 5.4 rushing yards per carry. No Nick Chubb, granted. But Kareem Hunt and Dearness Johnson can run the ball. Chandler Jones is out. There are two best defensive players around. I think, uh, who else is out? I forget his name. But he's out too. So Chandler Jones, and don't say J.J. Watt. He's been washed for like six years now. And Kyler hurt his shoulder last week. People are, have not talked about that. He banged up his shoulder, and we know we saw what happened last year when Kyler got a little banged up. The Cardinals are 5-0, and right, I believe? 5-0. and They're due for a loss. They're going to Cleveland. I think this is the time for Baker to get right, for Cleveland to get right off a very high-powered offen- uh, offensive game in Los Angeles. I think they it's a beat- great game. I, that was a phenomenal game. I am taking the Browns minus three. I think they cover that, and I think they win by a touchdown plus. Yeah, I don't hate it. I'll tell you what I like in that game, too. I love the under. It's like a free show pick. Yeah. doesn't count on the record. Yeah. But listen, guys, I would bet the under. I think it's 49 and a half. I don't know. But we should actually we should actually start doing that. Just like minor little tidbits that we talk about before the show. Like we both kind of like the the Packers. The Packers Bears over two forty four. Like that over two. That's if nice. you want a little sprinkly. Nice. You know, sprinkle, sprinkle, you know. sprinkle. Maybe a, maybe a dog money line. Well, well, you hold on. If you want dog money lines, oh, yeah, you check listen. Out. You listen to Animal on the Line on the Underdog Fantasy Channel. Like we'll uh, put a link in there. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. But that's where I do uh, live sit starts. Sit starts. Uh, trade questions, uh, waiver pickups, whatever you want, bets. We do it all. It's a lot of fun. So come join us every Sunday and, morning, 10 a.m. And yeah, 10 a.m. And he always is asked for a money, lo- uh, money, money line, money underdog. line underdog of the week, and he's four and one. We've so only far, lost so. one this one this year, and that was the stupid Lions. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was the stupid Lions. Was uh, dumb, friggin', I love him. King though. of the jungle. I respect him. Thanks for watching. That's the show. Please like, please subscribe. Please uh, comment below with your big locks. And uh, which we've been lo- I, I've been loving reading the comments of who they're who everybody's this, taking. Yeah, it's good yeah, to know. It's awesome. Good to know. Good to see what other stuff are doing. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Thanks and locks. Yeah. Goodbye.